Today we're going to be adding users and students to the NIDA Learning Management System. First thing that you need to do is log in. Click the login button and you have to be logged in as an administrator to be able to add users or students. So log in under the users tab. Right click under the ID column. Add a user. in all the fields with asterisks have to be filled in here are the required fields um, if you were just an instructor you will not have the rights to enter students or enter uh, users you can only view records same thing with a facilitator to be able to add students and add users you have to be administrator for full rights you have to click Instructor, Facilitator, and Administrator. That's what we're going to do now. Username, RS1. Um, password. Both of these have to be six characters or more. Letters or numbers only. Change the status from new to active. And to log out, log in with RS1 and PUPP1 puppy dog, and that gets us in. Next thing I want to do is add a student. So under the student tab, it's exactly the same as adding a user. So you right click, add a student. As a student, I can use the exact same ID that I use for the user ID because now it's a student ID. So, R Asplund, first name Robin, uh, same Asplund. Oh, I'm skipping over all this stuff. You can fill all this stuff in. You can put gender as female, um, username R Asplund, and password puppy dog. Change the status to active because if you don't change the status to active, the student will not be able to see any of the classes because they won't be an active student. Add them to. Close it up. And if you see there, we got Robin's right here. Robin Asim, she's active and it shows that she is a female. Today we're going to be custom designing a course. Under the NIDA Learning Management System, you want to click the login button and the login screen will come up. Enter your username and password provided to you by your IT department. Under the Courses tab, we're going to click at the top. And under the ID column down here, we're going to right click and add a course. This window pops up, and for a course ID, it has to be six numbers or letters at least. So I'm going to put in six zeros, one, two, three, four, five, six. Title, I'm going to call this a new test class. Tab down to normal, I'm going to leave it to normal. And status from new, I'm going to change it to active, and then add course successfully added close under my six zero course ID I'm going to right click and I'm going to design a course when this window pops up first thing I want to do is hit copy from it'll pop up a new window and under this window I can select the course that I want I'm looking for the DC industrial with exams course left click on it it pops it in there I can right click on top of any of these blocks and copy then over in this window here right click paste after puts the entire block in if I'm looking for more I can come here and I can change the course even if I want 
Let's say AC industrial. Uh, let's do the one with exams. AC industrial with exams. If I want to right click and copy, I right click on top of the previous block and I'm going to paste it after so it puts it on the same plane as far as my outline goes. Now, at this point, if I wanted to remove any of the stuff, if I did, decided I didn't need the post test theory, I can fly over and you see it tells you double click to remove from the outline. Let's do that. Double click. It's gone. I'm going to remove the introduction AC post test theory. Double click that one. It's gone. If I needed to add a single lesson, I can come in. Say I wanted to add introduction to O-scopes. I can right click copy. And then over here, same thing. Paste after. Then I added introduction to O-scopes. When I'm all finished, I'm happy with what I got. I'm going to hit the Save button. And then I can check my work by right-clicking and viewing the course. And I can see my entire course right there. I'm going to close that box, and I will log out. Today we're going to be building a class. So in the NIDA Learning Management System, you want to log in using your username and password. You're going to go to the Classes tab. You're going to right click under the ID column over here. Right click. We're going to add a class. I'm going to keep it simple here. Go one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. Same thing as every, everywhere else. All IDs have to be alphanumeric. Six characters or more. We're going to call this our new test class. And if you see here, the next tab down, drop down, it's everything up here, all of your built courses and canned courses. We've got our custom built course we're going to select, so we're going to left click on that. Type is standard, we're going to tab down, start date, and end date. I'm not putting one in, you can put one in there. It'll automatically fill something in once you hit add. Um, the class date, since there is an asterisk there, we do have to put something in there. We usually put in a 50 minute work hour. We're leaving it at class time. Here again, start time and end time. Um, if it doesn't have an asterisk, it's not a requirement and, and it has no effect on anything. It's just for your own personal knowledge if you want to put those in there. We do have to change the status from new to active if we want everybody to be able to log into the class. Primary instructor, I'm going to select myself as the primary instructor, and I'm going to leave my passing grade as a 70 or better. Add the class. It says it was successful. We're going to hit close. Now we're going to add students to the class, so we're going to right click on our six zeros, and we're going to edit class roster pretty straightforward here. All you have to do is double click on any of your students and it will put them on the left side and add them to your class. So if I wanted to add myself, if I wanted to add Robin, and that was the only people I was going to put in my new test class, I've got everybody in there that I want. I can hit close.